Okay, so this video is about the Sarah Sarita game, or the coin game, or the sister sister game, whatever it's called, a few different things, and um, it's a game that you play, kind of like, you know, there's a Bloody Mary, Charlie Charlie, whatever, stuff like that, and uh, this game is either said to be two spirits of two twin girls, or one spirit that is vengeful, or it's possibly even a demon, or some kind of spirit that's connected to demons or something like that, I don't know, whatever, or it's supposed to be like that, or it's said to whatever, but um, yeah, so I guess we'll go with how you play the game. <laughs> um, so there's a ritual, it's, it's a ritual kind of thing, yeah, and it's called Sarah Sarita, or if you wanted to say it in Spanish, um, I think I could possibly <laughs> say this correctly. So it's El Juego de las Mujeres, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like the best I could say it, I guess. Um, but you conjure at least two spirits who are murdered. Uh, it's similar to Charlie Charlie, you know, because you have to have whatever kind of thing in front of you and do that and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's in one of those popular games, and it's from Mexico, and it's, I guess, apparently supposed to be known as more deadly than Charlie Charlie or Bloody Mary or stuff like that, but I guess it's more deadly if you don't play the game properly, though. Um, and so how you play this game is you need two players and two coins of the same value, so you can have two quarters, two pennies, two dimes, two half dollars even. I would probably go with like a quarter or half dollar because they're a bit bigger and they're a bit heavier so it'd be easier to see them or hear where they fall and yeah. <laughs> and then um, so step one would be you have the two people sit on the ground facing each other, hold the coin in the hand. So you could sit like crisscrossed or whatever in front of each other, uh, maybe like right in front of each other or, I don't know, a foot away from each other, whatever, depending on how far you want to be. I don't think you want to be that far away from each other, probably just like a foot away from each other. Um, and then step two, um, both of you must say it out loud, say it out loud, Sarah, Sarita, can I play your game? And it will probably work better if you say in Spanish, since you are messing with Mexican ghosts and stuff, so they might respond to it more if you say it in Spanish. Step 3. Throw the coin over your head and let it land on the ground behind you. And how you know which thing is which. So, the coin, if it lands on heads, or both coins land on heads, it's a yes. If both coins land on tails, it's a snow, and if one lands on head and one lands on tail, it's a maybe. Um, if both of you get two heads, then you may, may play their game. You may ask them various questions, and uh, you can get answered by letting the coin hit the ground behind you. And you can only really answer, uh, you can only, uh, ask yes or no questions, and, uh, that's, that's the whole point of it, um, and if you want to end the game, uh, it's pretty simple to do, but it's kinda hard to get out of, uh, you must ask Sarah, Sarita, can I leave your game, and throw the coins behind you guys, if both get a yes, you can leave the game, but if both get a no, you must ask three more questions, I, I guess you can ask more questions or keep asking if you can leave, um, and then you must keep doing that until you get permission from the spirits to leave the game. If you get a yes and your partner gets a no, and you could leave the game, but your partner must continue playing. 
you guys decide to leave the game on your own, according to people, bad things will happen. So, apparently people reported seeing stuff or hearing stuff that weren't there. I kind of already have that problem, so <laughs> it wouldn't really be that much of a difference there. But, um, I don't know, maybe you'd have, like, bad luck if you left it and didn't ask to leave. Um, and then there's another thing here that's a bit different for like the story and stuff so the coin game also known as Sarita and in uh, other stuff or Cupido Cupido which I don't know what that would really uh, be but I don't I don't know that sounds like it'd be weird of a thing. I don't know. So there's different names for it, of course. Um, but yeah, it's simple and an old ritual and did gain popularity, of course. Uh, whatever people talking about it. So apparently Sarita is the name of a vengeful spirit of an indigenous woman who with the help of the devil, can see everything and answer your questions if you play with her. So that's kind of a different story there. I never heard that story, but okay. Um, all you need is um, two coins of equal va value, and it's usually played with another person. Apparently, if you play by yourself, it can be even more dangerous, I guess, I don't know. Um, both coins tossed together, and the question that opens the game started with either names and can I enter. Um, and then there are three possible enders. Answers. If both coins show heads, it's yes. If one coin lands on heads and the other on tails, it's maybe. If both coins are on tails, it's a no. And yeah, it's if the answer to entry is positive, you are allowed to continue asking questions. And once you get in, you can ask the coin for anything as that they can answer with those three options. Such as, will I pass the exam? Will I have a partner? Will my mother be cured? <laughs> so yeah, there's a few different things that you can answer. I don't know why you would ask those kinds of things, but whatever. Like, wouldn't you, like, ask, like, if they're there or something? Um, and then there's also issues that are best untouched in this game. Questions like, can you manifest yourself? They're considered risky and is recommended to avoid them. Um, and when you feel that uh, your doubts have been satisfied, there's a way to end the game. You must ask at least one question, claiming the name of the invoked as the beginning, and can I go out, or can I end the game, whatever, stuff like that. Um, finishing is one of the strongest reasons why the witch rule should be done in company. When it is your turn, you only have three chances to toss the coin and wait for the answer to be yes. If you are denied the exit three times, you can let your your partner continue their questions until it's your turn is repeated. But if you are alone, there is no going back. You get trapped. So that's why people don't like this game is because... <laughs> uh, you know, you, you could get trapped in the game and then there's a evil spirit or demon haunting you and stuff. So, um... It said that when this happens, the spirit of Sarita or the demon attracted to Cupid will make you their target for the rest of your days, which would be not be many. The one invoked will follow you and torment until destroying your mind thus being able to lead you to unaliving yourself or uh, simply baiting you into bad luck that will sow your end. 
I kind of already have bad luck, so <laughs> it wouldn't really make that much of a difference for me then. So, yeah, and then if you're lucky enough to exit the game, the last step is to get rid of the coins. There are those who say that, like a Ouija board, they always return their original owner and bring misfortune. That is why you must be careful, because whoever plays with the devil is never unscathed. So, yeah, that's kind of the whole whatever, how to play, and why it's so dangerous and stuff. Um, and then uh, there is the story, um, and so it's Legend of Sarasrita. This is a story that I kind of know, or knew before that other thing, that other thing. I don't know if that's just like that person's version of like, I don't know, their version of like some kind of creepypasta or something, but this is the actual one that I've heard many times in different videos and stuff. So, the legend of Sarasrita, according to legend, years ago were these two girls who went to school in Mexico. One was named Sarah, another was Sarita. They were sis twin sisters, and they were very close. Both of them wore matching coins on a chain around their neck. They were really quite beautiful. The girls sometimes stayed behind in the afternoon after school for cheerleading practice. One day, the girls stayed behind after school, but they did not realize that practice had been cancelled. The janitor who worked there at the, s the school was a fucking creepy weirdo. When he saw one of the girls go into the bathroom on her own, he followed her inside. He attacked her and abused her horribly before strangling her to death. When the other girl got worried and went to see what happened to her twin sister, she found the janitor standing over the body of her murdered sister. He attacked her too, and she grabbed a shovel that was there and hit him in the head. She kept hitting him until she thought she had killed him, however, when she turned to go for help, he grabbed her and stuffed her head in the water tank, drowning her. He tied a rope around the neck of the other girl and hung her on the bathroom door. When their bodies were found, the police were called. They found the girls had gotten they thought the girls had gotten into an argument and killed each other. The case was closed and it was dismissed as a murder murder suicide. At the time the girls' broken chains were found on the floor and the two coins were laying there. One coin was heads up and the other was tails down, or tails up. The janitor was never caught for his crime, and soon afterwards he moved away and nobody heard from him again. So, yeah, that's the story of, uh, Sarah Sarita. There is a Sarah Sarita story slash experience, but I don't know. I don't think you can really go off of these Sarasarita experiences and be like, oh yeah, that's definitely real, like, this person could have just had, like, a super vivid dream or something, I don't know, <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, anyways, I think that'll be it for this video, it's kind of a longish video, but yeah, so, anyways, I guess, bye then.